What's up guys and welcome back to another math video. Today we are talking about something called unit rate conversions, other teachers call it dimensional analysis, but basically what we are doing is we are doing unit conversions. And I'm gonna run through three examples using a particular method that was inspired by one of my students and therefore I'm calling it the CAMP method. The specifics of the CAMP method will really come into play with the more complex examples, but first we're gonna start with this nice and basic example, and I say basic because we are only converting one unit, so let's take it away. So first of all, I wanna write this out as $4.50, so we're gonna keep that in dollars, per one pound, and that's the abbreviation for pound, right, LB. Now we need a ratio, a conversion ratio, okay? And how am I gonna choose what goes where? Well, all I know, I need to convert pounds to ounces. And that's it, right? Because we're still in dollars there otherwise. So if I want to get rid of the pounds, I need to cancel it out, which means I need another pound in this ratio over here on top. Okay, and what am I converting to? I'm converting from pounds to ounces, which means the ounces goes on the bottom. Now, here's the general idea. I can't just multiply by anything because it will change the quantity fundamentally. But I don't want to change this quantity, I want to keep it the same. So when I'm choosing a ratio, this ratio must equal one, meaning the quantities on the top and bottom have to be equal. So if I know that one pound equals 16 ounces, I have an equal quantity. Even though this is one over 16, technically the numerator and denominator are equal, which means this equals one. Now the units cancel out, and then we just multiply across and I get $4.50 per 16 ounces. Now again, if we wanna present this as a unit rate, we'll go ahead and use a calculator to divide the numerator by the denominator. So we got 450 divided by 16 and we get 0.28125. Example number two, we have 50 miles per hour to feet per second. Now we are converting two units. So this is where the camp method comes into play and it gets a little more interesting. So I'm gonna put that 50 miles per one hour right in the center. Now I'm gonna choose which unit I wanna convert first. Do I wanna convert the miles to feet or the hours to second? Let's go with the miles to feet. So I'm gonna to go to the right with that. Again, we follow the same protocol. If I have miles on top, I need miles on the bottom and I'm converting to feet, so feet goes on the top. Now I need equivalent values, I need 5,280 feet equals one mile, so we satisfy the fact that this is simply one, cross cancel, cross cancel, now we're into feet. Now let's focus on the hours, and this time we're gonna go left with this unit. So how do we get this to seconds? I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna take a step-by-step -step process, I'm not gonna jump right to seconds. Let's, let's take a gradual approach, and first say we wanna convert from hours, right, so hours, we want that to cancel out, so I gotta flip it to the top, and we'll first convert it to minutes, and one hour is equal to 60 minutes, boom. And then we wanna take the minutes, so since I wanna get rid of minutes, I'm gonna have to put it on the opposite side, to seconds, minutes is going to seconds, and one minute equals 60 seconds, hours cancels, and minutes cancel. Now all we have to do is the arithmetic. But before we do that, maybe let's do a little cross canceling. I can divide this, and this by 10, and then 60 goes into 5,280, 88 times. And last but not least, now we have simply 88 over, oh, 88 times five over six. So we get 440 over six, and we get 73.3 repeating feet per second. Last one, we've got 16 meters per second to centimeters per minute, okay? So we're going from meters to centimeters and seconds to minutes. Let's again use the camp method. So we're gonna start off with 16 meters in the center per second. And let's go to the right side. Let's go meters to centimeters. So again, the meters is gonna go on the bottom, centimeters is gonna go on the top, and I know that one meter equals 100 centimeters, goodbye meters, and that part is done. Now we need to go seconds to minutes. Let's go to the left. I got seconds on top, because we're converting the seconds away, to minutes on the bottom, 
and we know that 60 seconds equals one minute. Goodbye, goodbye. Now all we gotta do is multiply across, and we only got ones on the bottom, which is great. So that's, that's super simple. So it's 60 times 16 times 100, and that gets us 96,000 centimeters, right? That's the last unit standing per minute. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Shout out to my student camp for giving me the idea for this video. Thank you so much, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.